Good morning and welcome to yet another day of trash picking. It's kind of overcast today, so I think the colors on the camera are going to be weird. I saw this guy putting this pile out yesterday. I mean, this would be like yesterday morning. And it's still here, and it's like... Everything's in it. So I don't know. Maybe everyone else is picky, or maybe no one came here. But these are pretty nice wheels. They are, as far as I could tell... I don't know if they're sealed bearing or not. They got Alex rims, they're 48 spokes. The tires are not that bad. Now the bike, the bike is like this crappy mongoose. So I don't think we're gonna take the bike. Yeah, it's kind of a shame to leave it there, but I don't think we're gonna take that. And look at these grips. These are ODI grips. So I think what happened is somebody upgraded this bike. Somebody put on these, look at these. They're like skid plates on the pedals. That's weird. You know what? I might take those pedals off. Mason, you ever heard of that before? I mean, it says Mongoose, but then on the pedal says Mason. All right. I think I'll get my pedal wrench out and take those pedals. Because they're just kind of interesting looking. But that's the first pile of the day, and today is supposed to be like the big day. So we'll see how that goes for us. This bike is just too weird. Mason pedals. This chain is gigantic. The stem is bizarre. You ever see a stem like that? I don't know. There's so much craziness on this bike. Too bad they painted over it, so I can't really figure out what kind of bike it is. I mean, I assume it's just a mongoose, right? I don't know, maybe I'll just take it because it's just so weird. Well, the Google searches were inconclusive, and I don't know if this is a, uh, a wall goose or something else, so... I threw it in the trunk for now but we might have to re-gift it later. I almost didn't want to get out of this one because it doesn't look that good, but we'll check it out. Let's see. One vacuum cleaner with the cord still in it. Clippy Clipperson. All right, then we got another vacuum cleaner right down here. No, this doesn't have the special uh, quick release cord thingy. We got it done. Look at these weathered old boards. You'd think we were at the beach today. We are actually, today I'm on uh, Cape Cod. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, what do we find in here? Chair, box full of junk. Oh. I'm not sad about this thing. It's ugly and stupid, but it's mostly brass. And I bet I could sell it if I don't bust it first. Wow, what an awkward thing to put in the car, though. 
I don't know, who would have that in their house? Oh, you know what's great? One of these is already broken off, which means the thing's worthless as a lamp. No one's gonna buy it. So we can just go right ahead. Um, you know what? On second thought, looks like it has a little age to it. Maybe I won't be so hasty to just trash it for scrap. Maybe. All right, what else do we have? We got an empty box where that thing was. Kids toys. Popcorn containers. Don't make a mess. Another lighting fixture that we don't want. Gotta pick up these things that we just dropped. And over here, in this styrofoam, Got a little battery jump box. I don't know if you heard that, that noise. Pretty sure it was another picker looping around the cul-de-sac. All right, so this pile was not great, but it was certainly better than I thought it was gonna be, especially with that little light fixture. So let's go to the next one. I see LP records. And they look like they're in rough shape. But this is why I got out. Because see how that says demonstration, not for sale? Sometimes demonstration records or promo records can be worth something. Probably not this one. This is a Columbia 6i label. I don't know. See, the thing is, demonstration records are like given to radio stations, you know, writers, things like that. And sometimes they can be valuable, but most likely, like these, these records are just crap. See, this ain't that bad, David Bromberg. You know, that's kind of in that same vein, folk music. But most likely that record wasn't from a radio station or anything. It was just like they bought it at a discount house, does closeouts. Yeah, there's just nothing in here. This is weird, though. I think this guy might have been a DJ or something because... Like, look at this sleeve. Someone cut a hole in the middle of the sleeve so they could see the record, you know, probably, like, so they could get to it quickly. Yeah, so I think, I think I'm just going to leave all these. These aren't really of any consequence. But that's, that's why, like, normally I wouldn't even look at a pile of records that looks like this, but I just saw that from the car, and I figured maybe there's going to be some promos or white labels in here but obviously I was wrong all right I guess I just got to know what's in this box look at this exercise bike you know the front wheel on that probably weighs 20 pounds it's like steel cast iron all right tire chains one pair of tire chains tire chains kind of make me sad because they're like chains, but they're not fun chains, like the ones we found yesterday. But I guess they weigh something. Wow. That's probably like 15, 20 pounds. So. Sorry, I'm very awkwardly trying to, trying to open the thing with one hand. I think what I'm gonna do is take this mongoose out and put the wheels back on it and hang it off the bike rack because it's just not really 
kosher in the trunk there. Look, it actually resembles a bicycle now. And it does bar spins. Ain't that fancy? I wasn't gonna record because the lady was right there, but whatever. Look at this, uh, look at this remote control drag car. You ever see anything like this? It's got the remote. It doesn't look like too old, but that thing's so cool. Anything else here? Damn. What the heck is that? See, I've seen a lot of cheap, crappy remote control cars, and I think that's probably what these are, but... As far as that stuff goes... Definitely really cool. A lot of mouse poop in here too. It smells like smoke. What about this? Made in 1998. I think we can live without that. All right. I just wanted to show you those couple of things. Not really the most exciting pile, but just, I mean, look at this. Did you ever see a remote control car where the guy's got like articulated arms and like little thumbs that hold onto the thing? That's wild. Okay, I'm backing up now. Probably shouldn't back up. But now we're gonna go this away. This away. Because I see. Uno bicicleto. What is it? Eh, I don't think we even have to get out of the car for that one. <laughs> it's just a free spirit. False alarm, folks. Are we gonna load up the bike rack? Look at this. It's a bike behind some other junk. Oh, wow. That's a specialized rock hopper. And it's got slick ties on it, too. Wow, that's a nice bike. It's super lightweight. 26 inch. I got a little bit of mouse poop and whatnot. You know, that happens when a bike's in a shed for years, but... Man, what a great bike to find. Beautiful color, too. This is fantastic. All right, let me shut up now and put it on the rack. And, uh... Go find another one. We got room for three. I had just put the camera away and then I popped the lid off of this and I want to show you what's in here. Look at this. Coppa and brass. And some iron pipes too. Wow, what a great pile. Today's turning out to be such a fun day. Wait till you see this thing over here. Not this thing. I mean, we're taking that too. Little garbage can. This is what this company, Chinko, Chenko, they do a lot of garbage cans, but look at this one. Isn't this awesome? Seven up. Is that a thumbnail? That's kind of blown out the exposure a little bit. The seven up, the Uncola. This thing just glimmers. It's like a... You know those old Hot Wheels? J.L. Clark of Rockford, Illinois. Old Hot Wheels had paint on them that's called Spectra Flame paint. It's like translucent. That's how this looks. These garbage cans usually aren't worth much. You know, you're lucky, lucky to get like 10, 20 bucks for them, but... Those are so cool. All right, let's uh, let's get a thumbnail here. Is that a good thumbnail? Is that a good thumbnail? That's not a good thumbnail. Anyway, let's see what else we got. Little beads. Actually, this is kind of a cool garbage can too. I'm not gonna take that one though. Bulletin board, the tank, is this legit? 
Nah, that's just some some cheap Chinese thing. A couple little knickknacks. That's about it. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that's so fun to find, even though it's not really worth that much. It's, is is that your thumbnail? I'm obsessed with the thumbnails. We went trash picking and we had a nice day, right? All right, let's get back in the car. I think I just saw a snake. Oh, I hope it's still alive. Snakey, get out of the road. Go ahead, get out. Get out of the road. No, no, don't hiss at me. Don't, oh, oh, what are you doing? Get out of the street, dum-dum. I'm trying to save your life. This thing is, this thing is tiny. No, I, I am not brave enough to even touch like a tiny little foot long harmless garter snake. Whoa, he's, he's terrified of me, but I just, I just want him to get off the street. All right, how can I gently get him off the street? Like he's not scared of me. Um, okay, maybe this. I don't want to actually touch him. I want to like, come on. Come on, go, go, get out, get out, go the other way, go the other way, good, come on, go the other way, go back in the yard, go back in the grass. I don't know, I mean, what can you do? Like, usually they just slither right away. All right, maybe if I get over here. Come on, bud. Yeah, see, I think he's like afraid. He's looking at me going, what am I doing? I just want him to go off the street. All right. I don't know if he wants to go down the sewer. Come on, bud. Come on, you gotta get out of the street. Thank goodness. Back up. Yeah, see, he's he looks like he's trying to trying to coil up and, and pounce on me or something, but I just want him to get out of the way. All right, all right. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I just leave? Well, he's in the corner now. You know, he's obviously afraid of me, so I guess what we're gonna do is just leave him alone and hope he goes back in the grass. And I guess that'll be the end of that. Good luck, Mr. Snakey. Or Miss Snakey. Good news, everyone. I got a little stick and kind of poked at him and he went right down the sewer. So he's safe. Wow. We had fun earlier today, but now it's just boring. Boring. My legs are stiff too. Maybe I should go walk a couple of miles, record that. What is this thing? It's super heavy. I don't know what it's for though. I mean, it looks like it's actually part of a cask wherein you would uh, store and or transport wine. I don't know why they have just a piece of it, but they don't have to worry about it anymore because now it's my problem. What else have we got? A little thing where you can put a candle. I don't need that. Would they pay for it? I don't know. No price tag. How about that? A picture of a, du a picture of a duck? Nope. This lamp is brass, so we'll pop the things off and take the thing. And you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna check it with the magnet because once in a while I get tricked. So. Let's see. Ha! See? Even I can get tricked. That ain't no brass lamp. Let's see, we got some art. Oh, I like those. I don't like them that much though. Oh, and it's a hoss. All right. Oh, that's fantastic. Anything in here? Nope. All right, so I guess we got our top of a barrel thing. It's 
what they say in Ireland. Top of the barrel to you. This route's kind of boring today. And I was going to do a different route, but I just got a call from my friend who did that route. And that's boring too. So I guess we both made the wrong choice or the right one. These are interesting. You never ever find these. These are 700C wheels. You know, sometimes you find like 26s, but you don't find 700s. So I guess we'll take them. And I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Upgrade our fancy schmancy specialized bike. And there's a vacuum cleaner cord over there, but you don't need to be, you don't need to watch me cut yet another vacuum cleaner cord. I'm not gonna show the sign, but this pile's in front of a taxidermy studio. So, here's part of a deer thing, I guess. I just got out because of this. It's kind of a little bit gross. That's a nice little vice. Clamps onto the table. It's a nice little hobby vice. What about this fan? I don't think we need the fan. Or the boards or the deer. Yeah, that's a great vice. Let's put it up front instead of in the trunk. It's from the Lehigh Vice Company. You guys want to Google that? Tell me if it's worth anything. Well, I've been looking for a pile to end this video, and I guess this one's as good as any. We haven't found much today. Had a lot of fun, though. So, got a couple of these motors. Pool pump motors. Wow, that's a naked one. Probably not a good idea to try to lift both of these at the same time. But we did it. Then let's see. Air conditioner cord. Should I cut that? Should I not cut that? I don't know. I guess I'll cut it. I don't usually cut them, but I've seen so many ACs today. I don't think anyone's taken them. Because the scrapyard near this town doesn't take them at all unless they're emptied. And my scrapyard pays a penny a pound for them right now. So, oh, what am I doing? I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna cut that cord right there. Pull it through. Ah, there you go. Put that in the box. Anyway, like I said, normally I don't cut these cords off, but, uh, Today, I will, just to end the video, and no one's gonna take these ACs. My car gets really loud after I've been driving it for like eight hours. I don't know why. See, listen to it. Purring like a kitten, loud kitten. And then over here, one more vacuum cleaner cord. And that is gonna do it for us today. It's been a fun day. And I certainly appreciate you guys coming along. Keep me company. So until next time, uh, fly like an eagle to a garbage pile near you. And thanks so much for watching.